Hey everyone, my name is Scott Tarbox. I'm an artist working and living in Houston, Texas. And today, December 12th, we are painting three murals outside of Breckenridge, Colorado. I forgot to clap. Something I want to talk about with this trip is a thing I get questions about a lot, which is, you know, how do you get walls? How do you get jobs doing this when you're starting out? Now, I don't want to promote doing work for free. I don't want to promote devaluing your work. If anybody ever comes to you and asks for a wall, that should be priced at your price. However, if you are new or just going somewhere new and looking for walls, a very good way to get your name out is to find walls that you notice while you're visiting the city that you think are good walls for your work find out who owns them and then come at them with a you know maybe start with cheap but let me do what i want or cost of supplies whatever and then you can decide where your threshold is but usually if i want the wall and i'm not struggling for money i will i will find a way to paint that wall and as long as they allow me to do what i want and with some kind of guarantee that'll last you know a certain amount of time that you think is worth it and this can be difficult to accomplish in the beginning, especially when I wasn't making much money. It was very hard to justify some of these things. And across the board, if somebody approaches me about a, a mural inside their business, that's gonna get me exposure. Absolutely not. Those are not opportunities we want. We want, you know, visibility outside to the public, people driving around, noticing it, saying, oh, I wanna find out who that is so I can call them. You never know who's gonna see them. The best example I can give you is the one that led to this project I'm working on. 2019, I went to Portland and I was there anyway to hike and see stuff. I got in touch with Portland Street Art Alliance and they ended up being really great and got me supplies for this wall. But regardless, I painted the wall. I didn't make money off of it, but I knew it would stay there for a while. And then six months later, a gym owner saw the wall, contacted me, and that turned into a trip that's funded by the client. And then he had me come back out this year, which I made a video about. And he was a super awesome guy and ended up having a big following himself which led to several people reaching out to me. And this job that I'm doing right now in Colorado is an extension of that. He saw the work I did with Julian's and wanted something of his own. All that to just say, you know, that's a good way to start. And I don't, I don't like encouraging people to do stuff not paid or be like, you know, you gotta work and not get paid before you get paid. It's not what I mean. I just mean there are ways to get your name out there. And street art is a great way because your art's not just hung up on a wall somewhere, you know, where nobody sees it, so. Anyway, let's uh, let's pick a bee. All right, we're in Denver. I just landed from Houston and picked up my rental car. I am painting in a small mountain town, so I don't believe they will have the paint I need. So we are going to Denver to buy paint, and then I'll be driving to Vail. All right. That's what 90 cans spray paint looks like. spray paint we need we got all the buff paint we need and all those supplies the only thing we're missing is scaffolding so we can paint on the staircase well this scaffolding is too wide to fit on a staircase ironically the scaffolding that's in this picture is what i needed yeah yeah there was no scaffolding
So start of day three here in Vail, Colorado. We were supposed to have a blizzard last night. It ended up just being a soft snow blanket. But As I was trying to say, it's day three of this trip. Yesterday we got the majority of the first wall done. It only needs the logo added to it. And then we sketched the entirety of the dog wall. Today I'll be finishing the rest of that wall so that I can get started and hopefully finish the final wall tomorrow. The gym I'm painting is called Mountain Barbell and the owner commissioned me to paint a tribute to his Mastiff Cal alongside his colleagues, dogs, Sweet Pea and Gus. We did our best to use my style to keep a mountain town vibe while also showcasing the dog's personalities. Scaffolding's here. There wasn't any at Home Depot and the closest Lowe's or something was like 40 minutes away. So uh, now is the moment of truth. We see if it'll fit. Who oh boy? Safety tip, when you're painting with spray paint inside and you have a beard, respirators don't really work that well. So I finished yesterday with a massive headache, went back to the place and shaved. But I did finish this wall, as you can see, and most of another wall. We just got one wall left, pretty much. So I'm gonna be working on that today. Hopefully finishing today. I'm not sure if I will though, because it's, it's on some stairs. As you can see, it goes right there. As we've discussed, this wall was a bit tricky with the scaffolding and the stairs. Normally you'd roll the scaffolding or slide it in and out of the way, but moving it takes a bit more effort. So that means that my normal technique, where I do the whole sketch and then the whole background and work back to front across the whole piece, won't work. I basically have to do each area that I can reach to completion and then move to the next area. This piece, the owner let me kind of do my thing. The only guidelines were mountain theme, and so naturally I went with an explorer bear doing some pathfinding and soul searching. The last smaller wall was done mainly to showcase the gym's name, but I wanted to make sure all the pieces tied together, so I gave it the same background and then altered the graphic to make it really pop off of that background. So 
last painting day. I was hoping to finish yesterday, but I think three days to do all three of these is a little ambitious. So today <clears throat> I have to finish, as tomorrow I am leaving to hang out with my brother who lives not too far from here, and then I go home the next day. This was such a fun project and my hosts were beyond amazing. They made me feel so at home. I really enjoyed my time in Vail and getting to see my family was also great. Thanks to all my supporters and hello if you're new here. I hope you liked the video and if you did, consider leaving a like or subscribing. These things really help my channel grow and I'm hoping to make YouTube a bigger part of my career in the upcoming year or so. See you in the next one.